In exploring the Kai disciplines, we now arrive at Mind Blast, which is one of my favorite disciplines. Just on the narrative alone, the psionic ability of the Kai, that's very interesting when combined with weapons and other opportunities in combat. Now, what we see here is a bonus in combat. You're fighting with your weapons, you're fighting with your martial skill, but you're also fighting on that kind of magic, psionic, force-esque level. This bonus stacks. So with the weapon skill, with items, it's going to increase your combat skill. However, while it always is on and it always operates, there are numerous, without giving away any spoilers, there are numerous encounters that are immune to it for various reasons. They might be a construct, they might be undead, they might have um, an ability to shield against psionics, they might be a boss character that is immune. So one of the things that we initially look at from a tactical perspective is how much use are we going to get out of the various disciplines? And against these higher level encounters where anything to help push the combat ratio in your favor, a plus one, a plus two, a plus three, having that psionic blast active, but with it being immune, is it really the discipline you want to take? It seems, in theory, when you need it the most, it's not going to be of use. Now, that is a possibility. And again, there are a lot of things that are immune to it. But this is what I would counter kind of looking at the meta and looking at the longer term strategy and implications of it. The various, without giving away spoilers, uh, boss fights, encounters, lieutenants, showdowns, monsters that are powerful, you kind of get some ideas in the narrative of when they're coming. There are a few that just suddenly appear, but you get an idea of the buildup. And ideally, as we move to that buildup, I want to be at full endurance. I want to have full health stacked. Ideally, also, depending on the story point and the book that I'm playing, I'd like to have maybe a healing pot or, or some sort of healing ability in combat, an item in the moment that I can use to bolster it. If I'm going into a combat encounter, a main combat encounter, and I'm not at full endurance, I'm not at full health, that makes things a lot more challenging. So what we see here in is the combats along the way. And we're going to explore this idea of embracing combat to farm items and pick up useful things for future quests versus avoiding combat. We'll framework that in the next vlog. But as I go through these lesser combats where I'm probably going to auto win, I'm still going to take damage. I'm still going to be taking damage. Even if I have such a high combat bonus, if I roll low on the matrix on the chart, I'll take three or four endurance points, five endurance points, six, seven, eight per encounter. Well, now at the end of that encounter, if I don't have a healing pot or if I have the healing uh, Kai discipline healing, which we've also explored, I'm now slowly healing up more and more and more by having that, that psionic blast by having mind blast that's going to tip things in my favor and take these lesser combats and in theory i mean i'm I'm rolling or i'm picking on the random number chart in theory i'm going to be able to crush those and make through those quicker with the combat bonuses stacking and i will lose less endurance along the way which means as i go through i should be at full health so uh, this is um, a discipline that just with my play style, I will usually take book one. I'll take early on to, um, to utilize it and open up the narrative for that. But if we're looking at it from a purely tactical point of view, I'd say this is about midway. There are some encounters in the later books that are very, very powerful. And while they might be immune, you want to make sure you are going into them with the absolute full health.